first in the news. Following the reprieve granted to Mary Jane Veloso, her lawyers are now finding ways to save her from execution. Darlene Basigan will tell us why. The family of Mary Jane Veloso returned from Indonesia this morning via PAL flight PR-536. Also returning from the said country were the lawyer of Mary Jane, attorney Edri Olayla, and some members of Migranta International. The Velosos expressed gratitude to those who helped and prayed to save Mary Jane from execution. Mary Jane's sister, Marites Veloso, never expected that her sister would be spared. She even recalled that Mary Jane requested to talk to her several minutes before the supposed firing squad. I felt that I was talking to my brother, I thought I was in the sky. I told her, what do you want to say to me? Why did she 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 say to me? Bakit ka pa humiling? Bakit mo pa ako gusto makita? Bakit mo pa ako pinapunta? Yun, tinatanong ko yun. Marites also notes that Mary Jane is so hopeful that she would return home following the sale of execution granted to her. She even agreed to testify against those who illegally recruited her, which had led to her current plight. Her lawyers in Migrante International are now preparing ways to remove her from that row, or at least get a commutation. For now, Mary Jane's camp will focus first on the preliminary investigation on her alleged recruiters, which will start on the 8th of May. Olalia also says that they have no information yet on how long their brief granted to Mary Jane will be. So, ang tanong, Ano ihintayin doon sa reklamong yon? Sapat na ba yung preliminary investigation na magkaroon ng resolution o kinakailangan pa ng conviction? DFA has earlier stated that Philippine Embassy officials are set to meet with Indonesian authorities to clarify the conditions set for the stay of execution granted to her. Olalia also hopes that the Indonesian government would pardon Mary Jane soon. Darlene Basingan reporting for Y News.